What's up, Fossil Fam? It's your boy, Lucifer, and today I'm going to be giving some of my friends some personalized movie and song recommendations. Mainly songs, uh, more focused on songs, uh, because it is Music Monday, but uh, I also wanted to throw in, like, a movie with every person, too, because why not? Mostly just because the first friend that I thought about doing this for was Lukash, and I know that he enjoys movies as well, so I was like, dude, fuck, I should, like, recommend him some movies and some songs, so that's honestly how I got this idea, so thanks for that one, Lukash. But anyway, getting into these. The first person that I have recommendations for, obviously, because he's, like, the whole reason that I made this video, or that I got this idea, kind of, is for Lukash from a cruel reader's thesis, which by the way, I don't think he told me that this is where he got it from, but my assumption is that he got his new channel name from the fact that he really likes uh, this one anime, uh, something something Evangelion or something like that. I, I've never seen it, um, but there's a song uh, in it, or like the song that was the opening song or whatever was like a cruel angel's thesis or something like that. And, uh, that's, like, his favorite anime, so, yeah. Did I figure it out? Did, did I do it? Did I do, do, did I do it? Did I figure it out? Let me know. Anyway, so, first song recommendation that I have for him is Achilles by Gang of Youths. I think that, I don't know why I'm saying I think that he, because it's like, he'll probably watch this video, but uh, the reason that I chose this song specifically for you is because I think that you might enjoy it. There are, like, a lot of violins and stuff like that, and then obviously it's called Achilles Come Down, so there are some, like, mythological um, aspects to it, I guess. I can't remember if Achilles is, like, Greek or Roman mythology or, like, what, but, yeah, it's a really pretty song. It's got violins and stuff. Um, it's, like, seven fucking minutes long, though, so I understand if, well, then again, you do listen to a lot of classical music, which is also really long, so just bear with me here. It's a gorgeous song. Honestly, like, the first time I heard it, like, I was listening to it, and I didn't even realize it was seven minutes long. Like, it's just so pretty, and it's so good, and I really love um, the lyrics to it. So, yeah, I think you'll really enjoy that one, so I recommend you listen to it. My next recommendation isn't for a song. It's for a band or a musical group, I guess, a musical duo, and that is Two Cellos. They, if I'm not mistaken because it's been a while since I've listened to two cellos, but if I'm not mistaken, they do their own um, original music or compositions, I guess, as well as doing, like, cello versions of popular songs. So I think that you would really enjoy those um, as well. So check them out. And then I also have a third song recommendation for you because I realized earlier today that I have this goal of getting you into, like, modern emo music, because most of the time when I see you uh, listening to music on Spotify, it's classical, which there's no problem with that. I got no problem with that. I love the classical music, too, but for some reason, I want to get all my friends into fucking emo music, especially you, because I feel like you might enjoy some of it, because some of it can be, like, really, you know, poetic and stuff like that, and I think that you would enjoy something like that. So, um, yeah, Gum by Mooseblood. It's got really pretty, like, music, obviously, behind it, and I think that the lyrics are really cute, and they're kind of fun, because um, it opens up with, do you want to come over later to my house? Uh, we can watch American Beauty in the dark, and I think that, I don't know, that just makes me think of you, because it's, like, cute, you know, and it's, like, talking about, like, watching movies and stuff, and I know that you like movies, so, yeah, it's just really cute, and then it goes on to say, like, listen to all your favorite songs, and obviously, like, the song is more romantic, and, like, that's not where I'm getting at here, um, but, you know, it's just a really cute song, and I think that you might enjoy it, and that I hope you enjoy it, at least, because I want to get you into emo music, okay, all right, um, and then for movie recommendations, 
Um, I was originally going to recommend The Social Network, but I know that you like The Social Network. So now I'm going to recommend to you The Trial of the Chicago 7, which was not only written by Aaron Sorkin, who wrote The Social Network, but it was also directed by Aaron Sorkin. And it's actually just a fantastic, uh, it's, it's a fantastic movie, honestly. It's so good. I've watched it, oh god, the first time I watched it was Halloween night. And... I have watched it at least 15 times since then. Not even exaggerating, not even kidding. I love that movie so much. It is so good. Um, it's got like an all-star cast in it. It's got Sasha Baron Cohen. It's got um, a lot of people, a lot of really good people in it. And I think that not only do I think you would enjoy it because it's got Aaron Sorkin's writing um, and his directing, obviously, but... That's neither here nor there because he didn't direct The Social Network, but I think that you would also enjoy it because it is about an actual event that occurred in the 60s? I want to say it was the 60s. I want to say the trial started in 68, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, it was about a protest that happened um, during the... Democratic National Convention in Chicago in in the 1960s. Uh, it was a counter, it was an anti-war protest, kind of, um, and seven, eight people ended up going on trial for it. And it's called the Trial of the Chicago Seven because one of the people, uh, Bobby Seale, he ended up, I mean, you'll watch the movie and like you'll find out what happened, but basically he ended up getting a uh, mistrial and all that good stuff. So that's why it's called The Trial of the Chicago 7. But yeah, I think that you would really enjoy that. So check it out, dude. It's on Netflix. It's like a Netflix original. So I think you, like, you kind of have to have Netflix to watch it. But if you need a Netflix password, I'll hook you up, dude. Okay, so my next friend that I have recommendations for is Ashley. But anyway, Ashley, my recommendations for you, I had to change them, actually. Well, I had to change one because... The first recommend one of the first recommendations I had for you, or one of the song recommendations I had for you, was by of mice of Ma of mice and men. Um, but apparently, the vocalist for of mice of men for of mice and men is a very problematic fucking person. Um, his name is Austin Carlisle. I'm I I don't really know what he did. Um, but yeah, apparently he was an asshole. So I wanted to change that recommendation for you. <laughs> if you're still interested in, he in hearing the first song that I had recommended to you, it was When You Can't Sleep by Of Mice and Men. Um, but if you don't want to listen to it because the dude's problematic, I totally get it. Uh -huh. But yeah, so I changed that recommendation to When You're Alone by The Bunny and the Bear. I really love the Bunny and the Bear. My favorite song by them is probably Se Passe Lyon or something like that. It's like a French title, I think. So I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's a really pretty song. But that's not what I recommended to you. Although if you do want to listen to that song, I highly recommend that one too. But I recommended When You're Alone because like we've talked quite a bit and you know, obviously I follow you on Twitter, so I see some of your tweets and stuff. And I just think that When You're Alone is a really pretty song, and it's a really comforting song for me, even. I find it very comforting, and I just think it's a really sweet song, and I think that you would really enjoy it. And I hope that you would maybe find it comforting, too. So that's why I recommended that one to you. And then the second one I recommended to you is Hammers and Strings by Jack's Mannequin. <laughs> And I recommended you that one because I also think that that song is really pretty, obviously. Um, I just really like Jack's Mannequin. I like, I want to say the vocalist's name is like Andrew Mann or something like that. But yeah, I really like his voice. 
and he has other projects too besides Jack's Mannequin. Hammers and Strings is a song that I find really soothing and I think that you might find it really soothing too and hopefully you would appreciate it but like part of the chorus is talking about writing a lullaby so I actually do have this song in my playlist of lullabies because I do find it like really soothing and stuff like that so I think that you might really enjoy that or at least I hope you really enjoy that you'll have to let me know in the comments if you like it or not and then the movie that I picked for you is saved it is such a funny movie oh my god it's so fucking cute and it's such a funny movie i don't know if you've seen it or not obviously i don't know if anybody has seen any of these recommendations um but i i do think that you would really like the movie saved it's a comedy and it's about this group of friends that goes to a fucking christian school one of them is jewish uh one of them is just straight up an atheist and he still goes to this school um his sister is like a super christian or whatever and it follows this girl and her group of friends, obviously, but the main character um, gets knocked up by her gay boyfriend. And I think that you would really enjoy that because it's just really funny. Moving on, the next person that I have recommendations for is my friend Brett Prynne. Uh, they, they have a channel, but they haven't posted any videos yet. I think that they've been like in the process of moving and stuff and they've been going through some shit, so they haven't posted a video yet. But um, yeah, Brett, I have a couple songs for you as well, obviously. Well, technically three for you. The first song I have for you is Rain by Sycamore. It's more of a screamo song, um, but I really like it. It's really melodic, I guess. I find it really entertaining and really cool and just, I, I love it so much. I love the lyrics to it and I just really love like the melody and like everything about the song. It's so fucking cool. Um, and then the next two songs are kind of like two parts to one song, if that makes sense. And it's such small hands and nobody, not even the rain, by Law Dispute. I know that someday you'll be sleeping, darling, likely dreaming off the pain. I hope you'll hear me in the street lights humming, softly breathing out your name. So Law Dispute is kind of a local band to Michigan. I want to say they were formed in Grand Rapids, which is still a couple hours away from me, if I'm not mistaken. But I really like their music. Their music is basically spoken word poetry that has music behind it. So I don't know if you'd really be into that or not. I recommended Such Small Hands, Nobody, Not Even the Rain specifically, just because those are like a couple of their more mellow songs. But yeah, you'll have to let me know if you like those songs or not, of course. But um, yeah. And the movie that I recommend to you actually is God's Own Country, because I think that you would really appreciate that. I talked about it so much that I made Lukash watch that movie, dude, and even he liked it. My goal is to make everybody on the planet watch God's Own Country. It's such a good movie. It's so fucking cute. It's such a sweet love story. Oh my god, dude. It, oh, I love it so much. I have seen God's Own Country so many times. Yeah, I think that you might actually really enjoy that movie. It's just really good. It's such a sweet love story. The main character is John. And he's running the farm because his dad's ill or whatever. And they end up hiring um, another person to help John, like, run the farm for a little bit uh, during, like, the busy season, I guess. And his name is Georgi. He's from Romania. So he comes in to help. And basically the two, like, they don't get along at first. And then, you know, the rest is history. You just gotta watch it, dude. It's so good. Is so good. The next person I have recommendations for is Steph from Bookstrict 9 Tribute. Oh, no, she's not Bookstrict 9 Tribute anymore. She, uh, Bard of the Dandelions, I think, is her new channel name. Uh, but, yeah, I, I adore Steph. She's so cool. She, it, like, she's, like, on the daily grind, dude. She posts videos, like, every fucking day. It's, like, how? I don't, <laughs> I could never. <laughs> um, but anyway, I recommend the song Deep Down by Wind and Sails. It's not selfish to follow your heart. Start reaching out for something more, for anything more. It's like a really 
kind of slow song, but it's also just really cute. And it's kind of sad, honestly, because it's talking about how um, I always thought that we'd be friends, but like we're not friends. Not saying that Steph and I aren't friends, because we totally are. But like that's, you know, what the song is talking about. So it's kind of sad, but it's actually, I, I really enjoy it. And I think that you might enjoy it too, because of, you know, the lyrical content and because I know that you like books like The Hunger Games and stuff like that and it kind of makes me think of The Hunger Games to be honest. Um, Specifically Gail and Katniss because like they have that falling out and then they're not really friends anymore and it's just like a whole thing. But yeah. And then the other song that I recommend is Spitting Fire by The Boxer Rebellion. like a really cute song where um I mean like part of the part of the verses and chorus I think is what the rest did I was average but I don't mind and it's just like talking about accepting themselves for like who they are and everything and I really love that and I think that you might appreciate that and the movie that I want to recommend to you I've actually got two movie recommendations so the first one is Limitless with Bradley Cooper. I don't know if you've seen that yet or not. It's a pretty old movie. Um, but I think that you might enjoy that just because it's got like a really interesting idea behind it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, basically the idea behind it is he takes this pill and it makes him like a super genius. Like he can take in all this information like and he can like learn the language fluently just by like listening to it on disc or whatever, like over the course of a couple hours. It's really interesting, I guess. And it's just a really cool movie and I really enjoy it and the cinematography is gorgeous like it's it's filmed so beautifully and I want to say that it was filmed using a red camera and I want to say that because of that movie I was obsessed with red cameras for the longest time and those are really really expensive cameras too but um yeah it's a really cool movie and I love the cinematography and I think that you might enjoy it. And then the other movie that I wanted to recommend to you is The Art of Getting By. It's got Freddie Highmore in it. You would, you might recognize him from either The Good Doctor or he was in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, and he's been in like a lot of other stuff too. But like those are the two big ones I think that you might recognize Freddie Highmore from. He was in Bates Motel, if you watched Bates Motel at all. Um, but it's actually like... A more realistic like high school love story I think and it's very cute and it's also got like sad moments to it it's like I said it's just a more realistic love story I think that takes place with two high schoolers that live in New York City and I think that you might enjoy that so yeah check those out stuff and let me know and the last person that I'm going to recommend uh, songs and movies to I have way more on this list like it it keeps going um, but the last person that I'm going to recommend stuff to in this video is Chrissy from The Return Cart. I adore Chrissy. We're basically, like, YouTube besties, honestly. Like, she's so fucking cool. And she's got the cutest little boy. Oh, my God. Anyway, for Chrissy, I recommend the song Spray On Pants by Kiss Jesse. but they're an Australian band, and it's just a funky song that I think that you might enjoy. I think I might have recommended it to you before, and you might have told me you liked it before. Um, so if I did, I'm sorry, my mistake. Just let me know, and I'll recommend you a new one. Okay, all right. And then the other song that I want to recommend is Consequence by The Not Wist. I, I actually first heard it on the soundtrack for a movie that I really fucking love. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty song and I think you might enjoy it. So you should check that out. And then for movies, I recommend Home, which is, I want to say a DreamWorks movie. You can actually see O over there. But yeah, it's O. Um, anyway, O is from Home. I really love the movie Home. It's so cute. Uh, the first time I saw it, the first time I saw it, actually, I was in my aunt's car with my aunt, my uncle, my sister, and my niece. We were all driving down to Mississippi for my brother's high school graduation. Um, but yeah, 
I watched the movie and it damn near made me cry like a few times, mostly because my sister was like, oh, oh, reminds me of you, you know, oh no, oh needs surgery, dude, oh it's got a little hole right there, oh my god, dude. Well, it's a good thing that I've already done surgery on stuffed animals before, because, like, I've done surgery on stuffed animals at the clinic, but, oh my god. I, wow, okay. I, I need to do surgery on O, because he's got a little hole right by his ear. That makes me sad. But, anyway, yeah, I love that movie. I think that you would really enjoy it. It's super fucking cute. Um, I think Rihanna voices Gratuity Tucci, which I think they call her tip or tippy or something like that um now i can't remember uh but yeah her full name is gratuity tucci and she's adorable and obviously you know some rihanna songs in there and then the other movie that i would recommend is actually a series of movies they're the homeward bound movies but anyway those are really cute movies um basically what happens in them is like a family well in the first one a family goes on vacation they leave their two dogs and their cat uh, at a friend's, like, ranch or whatever, and then the animals are like, oh no, we've been abandoned, we need to go find our people, so then they go on this long journey to find their house, their house, or whatever, and it's, oh my god, I cry every time, like, I used to watch this all the time as a kid, I know exactly how it's gonna end, I know exactly what happens, like, I can still quote a lot of the movie, because I used to watch it so much as a kid, but now as an adult, I cry because I'm turning into my fucking mom. Uh, in the second one, the animals also run away and all that good stuff. So yeah. Anyway, those were some song and movie recs for some of my friends. I do have more for more of my friends. It's this is just, just going to be a really long video to begin with. Anyway, you guys know what to do by now. You can scratch that like button, claw that subscribe button, roar at me in the comments. Let me know if you guys like the recommendations I gave you. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me because your boy loves recommendations. I love sharing music and stuff like that. That's literally my love language. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Doses. Stopping the toughest leaks while remaining virtually invisible. I mean, I don't know, this is pretty cool and all, but I mean, I don't see the thing working underwater. Plus, it even works underwater. I'll take your entire stock!